All right, it is three o'clock on the dot. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to the Wednesday Hump Day Stretch Break. I'm Brittany, as always, the Program Manager of XS at Autodesk. Um, we are going to do a lot of hits today because Luis killed us in boot camp today. So as always, if you have something that you want to focus on, go ahead and drop it in the chat and we will get to it. Um, like I said, we're going to definitely do hip flexors, um, maybe some quads, um, all kinds of stuff. So I'll give everyone a second or two, put something in there. All right, looks good, not seeing too much. Oh, might have something coming, so as. Yes, we will definitely do that. All right, going once, going twice. Okay, let's go ahead and get started in standing. So first things first, after a whole afternoon of sitting, we're gonna take the feet nice and wide. We're gonna reach up overhead, grab your left wrist with your right hand, reach up as high as you can, and let's keep our weight in our left foot. Stick that left hip out. Go ahead and bend to the right. Stay nice and tall through the torso. Breathe into those tight spots in your side body. And let's go ahead and come back to center and switch your grip. Right. Grab your right wrist with your left hand, reach up as high as you can, keep your weight in your right foot, stick that right hip out, and let's bend to the left. Take some deep breaths, breathe into that right side body. Feel that rib cage expand, should feel nice. And let's go ahead and come back to center. And let's let the arms come out to the side. Nicely done. Okay, we are gonna come onto the ground next. We're gonna start in a half kneeling position. So bring this down just a little bit. Half kneeling position. I have my right foot in front, my left leg is behind. You can kind of see me at an angle here. So right foot in front, left leg behind. Let's st stretch out that hip flexor. So left butt squeezes, abs are pulled in. Let's keep that tension in our abs and glutes as we bring the hips forward. We're looking for that stretch in the front of the left hip. You can hang out here, or you can bring your left arm up by your ear. That deepens the, the stretch sometimes. If you really want, a little bit more of a stretch. You can also lean over that front leg. So lots of options here. Pick the one that works best for you today. Go back to this original angle. Let's take one more breath here and go ahead and bring the hips back. Come out of that stretch. Let's switch sides. Right knee comes to the ground. Left foot comes forward this time. Squeeze your right butt, squeeze your abs, maintain that tension as you bring the hips forward. We're looking for that stretch in the front of the right hip. You can stay here, breathing, keeping that tension, or you can bring the right arm up, reaching for the ceiling as high as you can, or you can do a little side bend over that left leg. As always, pick your own adventure. Do what your body needs today on this particular side. Couple more breaths here. And let's go ahead and come out of that stretch. All right, we're gonna do one more time on each side. A little twist with this one. We're gonna add a quad stretch to it. So hands, um, hands can start on our right thigh. We're gonna squeeze left butt, squeeze abs. Bring the hips forward into that hip flexor stretch again, whichever version you liked. If you're feeling good and want to add a quad stretch to this, you can bring your left hand behind you and reach for that left foot. If you're on a hardwood floor, you might not want to do this unless you have some extra padding. This is completely optional. If you are grabbing your left foot, make sure to keep that tension 
and your abs and your back glute, your left glute. Breathe. Find that breath that's going to help those muscles relax. And if you are grabbing onto your back foot, go ahead and let it go. And we come back to center. And then wherever you're at, let's go ahead and come out of the stretch. Nicely done. That was a challenge. Go ahead and switch sides. So right leg, right knee is down. Left foot is forward. Let's find that hip flexor stretch again. Right butt squeezes, abs are tight. We come forward. Arm might reach up. We might lean to the side. Or if you want to add that quad stretch, we look over the right shoulder, reaching back. You can even stop here if this is enough, or we can reach for that back foot. Focus on the breath wherever you're at, especially if you're doing that quad stretch. Breathing into the front of the hip and the front of the thigh. And if you're holding on to your back foot, go ahead and let it go gently. And we rotate back to center, finding that hip flexor stretch one more time. And let's go ahead and come out of it. Nicely done. Woo, that one's always a challenge. Okay, in the spirit of um, still doing things with our hips, so I am horribly unflexible with this one that's coming up. Jazzy loves it. She did it once or twice in her stretch breaks yesterday. I have a yoga block for our deep squat to forward fold. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stand up nice and tall and maybe you need the block, maybe you don't. But what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're going to squat down. Maybe you're resting your hips on the block, maybe not. And we're just going to wiggle. So deep as squat possible, chest is up. You can take some forward and back wiggle, some side to side. We're getting the hips as happy as possible. You can do that with this one. And then we're all going to grab our toes. Elbows are on the inside of our knees. We're grabbing our big toes. From here, we're going to bring the hips up to the ceiling. Head drops forward, forward fold. Take a breath here. Depending on your body, this might be the break or this might be the hard part. And then let's go down into that deep squat again. So dropping the hips, chest is up if you can. Like I said, for some people, this is the easy part. I've been working on this for years and it is still not easy. And let's go up into a forward fold, straighten the legs, head is down. Breathe at the top, hamstring stretch. We're gonna do one more of these. All right, as you're ready, deep squat. Best one yet, hopefully. Chest is up if you can. And squeeze the glutes, straighten the legs, head is forward, forward fold, nicely done. And let's bend the knees a lot, roll up nice and slow, one vertebra at a time, head, neck, and shoulders are the last thing to roll up. Once you get to the top, maybe take a quick shoulder roll, set those shoulders in your back pockets. Nicely done. When you're ready, go ahead and make your way onto the ground. Couple things on the ground just to finish up today. So we are gonna start on hands and knees. And from here, if, you're, if you've done yoga or been to one of these stretch classes, we're gonna do some cat cow or some cat camel. So from here, we're gonna arch your backs as much as we can, just like an angry cat. Tuck your tailbone under your hips, drop your head between your arms. Take a breath here. And then we're going to bend our spine the other way. So pointing our tailbone toward the ceiling, arching our back, looking up toward the ceiling if our neck is okay with that, taking a breath here. And now just flow with your own breath. Moving into cat, rounding your back. Moving into cow, arching your back and matching your breath to the movement. 
So with yoga, there's a very particular sequence and way you should breathe with cat versus with cow. For our stretch break purposes today, I'm just concerned with you continuing to breathe. We're just here to help the body relax and to feel good. And wherever you're at, let's do one more in each direction so that you're even or at least close to even. And then we'll meet in the center with a flat back. All right, once you're in center, let's finish up with a good child's pose because it's always a nice one to finish on. So knees are wide, big toes touch. Let's bring the hips back towards the heels, reach the arms out in front of you as far as you can. We're gonna touch the forehead to the ground if that's available. Let's take three deep breaths into our belly. Focusing on relaxing with each exhale. Just letting some of the stress and tension from the day go. It's late afternoon here, Pacific time. If you're on another time zone, it's probably after work. So we're just letting it all go. And wherever you're at, one more full breath, one more full inhale, one more full exhale. And after that last exhale, you can stay there or you can walk your hands back to your knees and stay in sitting, sitting, kneeling or standing, it's up to you, but that is all we have time for today. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you feel better. I know I do after sitting all day. Uh, just a reminder, we do have our member satisfaction survey um, that closes on Friday. We really need your feedback so we can make our program that much better. And uh, Design to Run training program is starting March 8th. We're doing consults now. So if you're interested in doing the Design to Run 5K or 10K, sign up for a consult and we'll train you to get there um, in a healthy way, in a sustainable way, and hopefully help you like running if you don't already. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in a class soon. Oh, be sure, the most important part I miss, Jazzy is doing a webinar at 4 p.m. on heart health. You should join, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's less than 30 minutes. Um, she's a great presenter, so make sure you stick around for that. If you can't make it, we will record it and post it on our Slack channel. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.